My name is Wei Ting Huang and I'm consulting cardiologist and associate professor at the National Heart Centre Singapore. So recently I actually uh, did a study, the PAINS HF, and it was largely motivated by the fact that heart failure is going to be very prevalent in future where 1 in 10 above the age of 65 will be diagnosed with heart failure. However, in terms of resources, um, the access to professionally performed echocardiograms can be up to four to six months. And, and this will act, may delay treatment of heart failure. Hence, there's a thought, perhaps we could train novices with no prior sonography knowledge in doing echoes, just like how we do electrocardiograms in placing the cardiac probe in specific um, places in the torso. So that is why we decided to partner with ASU AI to perform this study. In this study, we prospectively recruited 100 symptomatic patients with suspected heart failure. Novices with no prior experience underwent a two-week training program to acquire echo images with AI guidance using the handheld echo with AI automated analysis by us to AI. And this is what we re refer as the AI pathway. All patients also had a standard card-based echo by trained sonographers and yet with LBEFs interpreted by qualified cardiologists. And this is our gold standard used for reference to diagnose abnormal LB function in this study. As NT-ProBNP is also one of the ways to diagnose heart failure as per clinical guidelines, all our patients also underwent blood sampling for NT-ProBNP. And the primary endpoint of our study is the accuracy of this AI pathway in determining abnormal scans of LBEF less than 50% compared to the, the clinical guideline did, uh, recommended NT-ProBNP. I'm pleased to actually um, report exciting results from this study. And firstly, with just two weeks training of Echo News Cosmos handheld echo and AI automated gateway by ASU AI, novice laypersons could perform echo and produce complete echo reporting in 96% of all recruited patients. The, there's 30% integrated discriminant improvement of AI echo over the NT-ProBNP and the novices only took roughly 11 minutes and 28 seconds per study. There was also good agreement between the clinician reported LBEF and the AI pathway reported LBEF with a coherence couple of 0.742. This research enables cardiologists to create new pathways for heart failure monitoring, screening, and diagnosis. And this increases the access of um, patients with suspected heart failure to LBEF management. And patients can actually receive appropriate um, medications and treatment as per the LBEF category. This study is vital in showing that um, we could touch shift a tertiary test such as the echocardiogram to primary care or even home-based care. In fact, there will be a study that will be rolled out uh, in 2023 when novice laypersons will perform um, screening echoes for patients with suspected heart failure in primary care settings.